So I'm just sitting home tonight after running errands. Been a busy day. Just got done with a couple of burritos wrapped in uh, some carb smart burrito wraps filled with shredded chicken and some nacho cheese and some Mexican style cauliflower rice. You know, keeping it low carb. Us 80s babies ain't getting any younger and we definitely ain't getting any thinner, but I regress. Anyway, all of a sudden out of the clear black night sky, I get a message from my man Wade. He's a local FLCer telling me that his buddy and a uh, mutual friend of mine, Wyatt, have stashed a Wonder Woman from the Bane build a figure wave at uh, over at Walmart on the east side. Well, I thought it was Walmart. Turns out it's Target. So I rush into Walmart frantically looking for this game that they put it behind, and it's not there. All the wind is let out of my sails. But what do I find? A He-Man many faces, which I'm looking for. So I'm thinking, okay, that's just going to be my, uh, my door prize, you know. But turns out I check my messages and it's actually the Target next door. So I pay for my many faces and I run over to Target and lo and behold, So score there, that was awesome. I was really been searching high and low for this Wonder Woman. So that is so cool. Wade and Wyatt, the double, the double W's. No, Wade, Wyatt and Wonder Woman, the triple threat W's, that's awesome. My Bill and Ted of Sioux Falls really hooking me up with an excellent adventure tonight. All right, well, just got another message saying that there is a He-Man um, behind some Fortnite figures that they just put over at the other Walmart. So I'm rushing over there. What a weird night. But, ah, and another red light. What a weird night, another red light. Look at that. Must have just got put out. No scare glow. Okay, where are the So that was all kinds of crazy last minute toy hunting. Wasn't expecting that. The weird thing is that the Walmart that I found that Orco at, I was just there a few hours earlier and they weren't on the shelf. So it's, it's not always going to the stores right away when they open to see what's on the pegs because sometimes they put this stuff out, you know, later in the day. So there's that, but what a, what a crazy deal. First of all, I want to say a special thanks to two friends out there, some local FLCers, Wade and Wyatt. Wade, when he is not being a great family man, a great artist, being corny, having fine taste, and an avid collector, 
he's out stomping the local hunting grounds looking for all this cool stuff and Wyatt when he is not creeping around as zombie slash enjoying the finer things in life and shredding the guitar he is also out there hunting the aisles of the targets and walmarts and all the other places that we find all these awesome figures so thank you thank you gentlemen i appreciate it i appreciate you that was definitely awesome for uh hooking me up letting me know where this stuff was setting that stuff uh to the side for me and uh i ran right out and and grabbed it and finding this Wonder Woman being able to uh, grab it uh, is awesome because now I can finish my my Bane and uh, I, I like that uh, Wonder Woman the, the pegs you know with the flesh tone kind of uh, through the boots is um, you know but little paint no big deal but I just love these McFarlands and I'm so grateful to be able to get my hands on that that is <laughs> that is so cool and then when I was looking for that at the wrong store I just happened to find this in the midst of all the games somebody had stuck that back behind there and so I got a many faces one of the ones I've been looking for I'm trying to complete this whole wave still need scare glow and Roboto and merman and the battle armor Skeletor but not too bad for as many as there are right now and then going to that Walmart where they directed me to just happened to have an Orco hanging there <laughs> I never had one of these I never had an Orco as a kid with all my original He-Man so this is this is really surreal and and great and cool and all kinds of uh, collector um, excitement for me because I am one of the biggest He-Man fans ever so awesome and then a trap jaw I had a trap jaw when I was little looked just like this and just over the moon happy and then it'll kill some people when I open this because it's a unpunched card but you know I don't have two of them so we're not saving one we got to get our hands on this and I will be doing um, some sort of semi review on a bunch of he-man figures coming very soon I know a lot of people are asking for it and that's kind of the gist of the messages that I got that uh, people are wanting to see you know some more he-man stuff so I am I am on it I am working on it and it's coming soon it just these things just keep happening I'm getting things in the mail and then people are calling me and hooking me up with figures and I want to make videos about it so you know if, if I had the time and in uh, videos did well if you put two or three out a day I, I definitely would but um, it is what it is but uh, I'm on the hustle and uh, I'm, tr I'm trying hard for my FLCers, so thank you for coming along on this last minute uh, emergency toy hunt. And until the next time we enter the multiverse, I'll see you later. <laughs> <laughs>